I think I would say some of the best things of your experience as a soldier or as a first responder are present in this group. The most important thing being that the first day it's kind of awkward and it's just a bunch of people in the same place that have some similar experiences. And then it loosens up a bit. And then there's a moment the second night in, there was quite an emotional conversation. I mean, emotional like, you know, some people were like tearing up a bit because it's intense, sad stuff, right? People are dying and, you know, I mean, these are stories about people who got killed and people who got wounded. And like, after that, the next day, I realized all of a sudden there's a we, right? It's not just, oh, there's a bunch of people and we're talking. There's a we, there's a, I, the group all of a sudden had some kind of identity that we all recognized and felt invested in. And it, like it clicked that feeling, impossible to come by in just contemporary American society, right? And it's one of the reasons I think that people miss their service or miss being a first responder or whatever that says, about, oh, this is us now, this is us, right? And we're all individuals, but we're all part of this thing that we all recognize and are, and are willing to contribute our best selves to. If you come out here, you will re-experience that. It's only for a few days, but that's okay. You just need to know that it's possible to have it in the civilian world in a meaningful way. Like, you don't have to miss the war.